Hughes. Now Chuck Hughes is one of the one of the greatest men I've met in a while. Every time I meet up with Chuck, he's always smiling. He's always enjoying himself. He's always happy to see me. Chuck's one of those guys that enjoys life. He enjoys his art. He takes care of the people he cares about. Just generally.
That's the first time I saw Chuck. Was uh, Dead Larry won a battle and we played Ten Thousand Lakes two thousand eight, and I saw you on stage with Wookie Foot at that festival, and you were like sort of dressed like Mario, I think. <laughs> yes, we were. And you were like, oh, Jojo and Amy decided that's what you guys are wearing. Yes, whatever they say, I suppose. White jumpsuits and crazy. But I mean, it worked. I remembered it. I did. So I've. We go way back. It's true. Through Harmony Park, but also through uh, Bill Hurts. Bill was a good. Uh, he was. He was always so insistent on me meeting certain people, and then you were one of those people that he just like would not.
Smoking Joe and Friends is like the most free flowing, like from thought to hands to guitar to song that I have. Like, there's not a whole lot of like, there's not a lot of like, you know, I'm not trying to impress anybody with the musical aspect of it. It's more about storytelling. It's more about creating a a mood and creating a you know a mindset in which to listen to music. On the other hand. When I play with Dead Larry, that is, you know, we are always constantly trying to blend genres. We don't want to sound like anybody else. We put a lot of thought into our, our changes, our, you know, a lot of thought into our, our, you know, so much between the four people in Dead Larry is the thing. And in Smoking Joe, it's just kind of like, I wrote the song, it goes like this, and that's kind of how it is. But with Dead Larry, there's, it's more intricate. Man, I, I, the, the job that I do right these days is uh, involving uh, painting Bambi on walls. You know, I'm, I'm following a script a lot of the time, painting the murals or doing illustrations. And I come out to these shows and uh, try to turn off my mind enough to go with the flow, enough to feel something that sounds like or looks like what I'm listening to. You know, this, I, I've done this a lot, of, a lot, several times with Joe, and <laughs> yeah. it's always been a, a bit different. Every time, it's a little different every time. So it's kind of, I know it must be working to, like, to be consistent like that. But uh, yeah, painting live pushes me also to, to not mind mistakes. If there's a mistake, not really a mistake, I'm gonna change it into a happy, a happy clap. Nah, uh, <laughs> a Bob Ross it up. Something.
telling this to Chuck earlier, this is a good little tidbit. It's impossible to like look at Chuck's paintings while he like after he painted it and you didn't know that it was painted in an hour with a band. Like, you know, it would be a great painting, but once you understand like the short amount of time he has to create a visual representation of an entire hour of music. Like that's that's special. In order to do that you kinda have to record it like we just did. <laughs> you know, you have to record the whole hour of a band playing and Chuck painting to get the idea of oh, that's what Chuck Hughes does. You know what I mean? And it's something that nobody else does. I mean I've seen other people paint during bands, but like, you know, every time he comes out with just it represent yeah, it's great. I've had so many paintings that I wish I had after Dead Larry sets that other our fans and other people bought. But there's a, there's a special <laughs> chemistry. There's a few bands around here. Dead Larry and Useful Jenkins have they've actually worked together. I mean, like very very closely. Oh, each definitely. Other's music and things like that. Crazy things. But it's like that's the, uh, the being able to. Uh, I just lost my train of thought thinking about all the crazy things that just happened. Oh. Uh, Remind me where I was just at. Well, being able to represent the music within such a short period of time, um, that's what I was talking that's about. That's the short amount of time with where I, I was just at. Uh, the, you guys and Useful Jenkins are the only bands I've been able to produce two paintings per, 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 per one set. That's and insane. Both, yeah, and they were both acceptable. So when I got uh-huh. done, I was like, Whoa, what? And that was, you know, that's, so Joe has been there several times when this has happened. The spontaneity is really, really good because I'm just being spontaneous too. And so everybody's just kind of bouncing it around out there. Yeah, every now and then I've been able to, uh, to look at them while they're painting and catch their eye accidentally. And it's like sort of a cool moment in history where it's like, hmm. I got you. you know, I, I, know what you I, know, I think I know what you're thinking right now. You know, it sort of feels like that sometimes. Yeah.
I'm super partial to Chuck because he did draw me looking like a like super ripped like superhero. Superhero. I have my superhero painting, and I I know who owns it. I do. I've seen it again. But it's cool, you know. Like he he can like it's a different aspect of the art, like because if you have the the backstory to the painting, then you'd be like, this was Useful Jenkins, Fall Frolic, 2011, the year when nothing really went wrong. Like, you know, uh, it would, or 2010, I guess that would be, actually. But anyway, like, you know, and it represents, like, a moment in time, and you think about what you were doing during that set, and, you know, yeah, who, yeah it's, it's, so, whoever decides to, to whoever owns the painting a lot of times is someone that experienced something really powerful during the set that they're buying the painting for that's totally true
It's a beautiful painting. You know, the, the, the girl that's second from the right up top has got this swan dive sort of thing going off opposite her hair and her dress. And I, I was, that, was think, that was the beautiful part I was thinking. I, actually, some of the clouds, I kept thinking, ah, oh, this feels like springtime, morning. Oh, there's something, you know, things will change as you're working on it. I keep, I think keep getting bumped around. But the beautiful part. I feel like it's the use of, like, the lighter, happier colors. Like, because there's, like, a light blue up top I mean there's dark blue in the corner but like then there's the pink and the red and that's like that's like very soft it's softer than usual which I really think is cool it goes with smoking yeah, Joe though too because I'm not I'm a non-abrasive act there's not a lot of sharp turns with smoking Joe you know there's it's mostly just steady on I always appreciate that too I mean there's been some dark times you know you know getting oh, of course. the corner during Dead Larry set where I think oh I hope they know what they're doing yeah Dead Larry turns left sharply well, and like doesn't we're not even driving no one's driving right. I, uh, yeah. just go off the road man uh, Larry's at the wheel and he is dead and he is dead you know I think I think that was a great representation of the set you know well that makes me feel good yeah. I was feeling the, the so what are we going to call this this thing here, Chuck? Well, it's, uh, it's up in the air right now. Well, if I were if I were to name it, being that it is the beginning of the summer, I would call it "Be What It May." It's a play on the fact that you know maybe you didn't get all the time you wanted as an artist, <laughs> but it is what it is, and it is also May the month so it's a combination that's off the top that was it man. out of nowhere be what it may I like it I like you too Joe I'm Thank big you. fan smoking Joe Scarpolino ladies and gentlemen I want to thank you for being here and coming here and making yeah. my night man. and I wish you uh, you know a very successful and and great set of art jams thank as you, you do more and more I'm sure that you know be like, yeah. Oh, sweet. Well, thank you, sir. Don't. You have great friends. You should bring them back again sometime. Don't we all? Yeah, but funky friends. Yeah. Thank you, ladies Art and Jam, 2000 and fun. Oh, episode number two? Is that right? Yup. That was awesome. Thank you. Good night. I want everybody to recognize this is Chuck's, Chuck Hughes' show right here. He has paintings for sale if anybody would like one. Everyone would like one, but if you can afford one. I have two of them. Come and get them. He's a very friendly man.
faster, sexier, deadlier, never made it to space.